Rejection can lead to depression and anxiety, and this duo is two of the most common mental health disorders that people suffer from. It is one that affects millions of people around the world every day. These conditions can affect anyone, regardless of their age, gender, or social status. They can cause a great deal of suffering and pain, making it difficult for individuals to enjoy life or accomplish their goals. If you or someone you know is struggling with depression or anxiety, it's important to know that help is available. There are many effective treatments and coping strategies that can help manage these conditions and improve the quality of life. First, it's important to recognize the signs and symptoms of depression and anxiety. These can include feelings of sadness or hopelessness, loss of interest in activities that were once enjoyable, difficulty concentrating, changes in appetite or sleep patterns, and physical symptoms such as headaches or stomach aches. For anxiety, symptoms may include excessive worry or fear, restlessness, irritability, and physical symptoms such as sweating or trembling. If you or someone you know is experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to seek help. This can involve speaking with a mental health professional such as a therapist or psychologist. They can help identify the underlying causes of your depression or anxiety, and develop a treatment plan that is tailored to your specific needs. In addition to seeking professional help, there are many things you can do to manage depression and anxiety on your own. One important strategy is to focus on self-care. This can involve getting enough sleep, eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and taking time to do things that bring you joy and relaxation. Another helpful strategy is to develop a support system of friends and family who can offer emotional support and encouragement. Talking about your feelings with someone you trust can help you feel less alone and provide a sense of comfort and relief. Mindfulness techniques such as meditation or deep breathing exercises can also be effective in reducing symptoms of depression and anxiety. These techniques can help you become more aware of your thoughts and emotions and develop greater control over them. It's important to remember that recovery from depression and anxiety is a journey, and it may take time and effort to achieve a sense of wellness. Be patient with yourself and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Ladies and gentlemen, rejection is an inevitable part of life. At some point, we will all face rejection in various forms, whether it be from a job application, a relationship, or a personal pursuit. It can be a painful experience, but it is important to remember that rejection is not a reflection of our worth as individuals. So, how do we handle rejection? The first step is to acknowledge and accept the rejection. It is easy to get caught up in feelings of anger or sadness, but it is important to allow yourself to feel these emotions and process them in a healthy way. Suppressing your emotions will only prolong the healing process. The next step is to reflect on the rejection. Take some time to evaluate what went wrong and how you can improve for future endeavors. This is not about blaming yourself or dwelling on the past, but rather about learning and growing from the experience. It is important to remember that rejection does not define you. You are still the same person with the same skills, talents, and qualities that you had before the rejection. It is important to maintain your self-esteem and self-worth, even in the face of rejection. One way to maintain your self-esteem is to surround yourself with supportive people. Lean on your friends and family during this time and seek out positive reinforcement. Hearing from others that you are still valuable and appreciated can go a long way in boosting your self-esteem. Another important step is to stay positive and maintain a growth mindset. Rejection can be discouraging, but it is important to remember that every failure is an opportunity to learn and improve. Embrace a growth mindset and focus on the lessons you can learn from the rejection. Finally, it is important to keep trying. Rejection can be a setback, but it should not deter you from pursuing your goals and dreams. Remember that success often comes after many failures and setbacks. Keep pushing forward and never give up on your aspirations. Rejection is a part of life, but it does not have to define us. By acknowledging and accepting rejection, reflecting on the experience, maintaining our self-esteem, surrounding ourselves with supportive people, staying positive, and keeping trying, 
we can handle rejection in a healthy and productive way.